Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another Stranger Things video. This video has actually been a suggestion video. This is the first of its kind for my channel. So this is all kind of new to me, kind of exciting that someone would want to suggest a video. So here I am bringing that request to them. And it's kind of an interesting topic with us going into Stranger Things season five. It is loaded with a lot of theories. And one that I have seen recently is death predictions. Who could we possibly see die? And one of the bigger ones, that I have seen is the possibility that Mike Wheeler could die. Now, being that he is one of the main characters, yes, this is definitely a possibility. I think in this final season, all bets are off, and we could actually see some of our main characters die. Would that kind of suck? Yes, I think that would suck, and it would take away from us growing up with these characters and everything and kind of cheapen it a little bit. But then again, it kind of begs to say that, you know, even if we didn't grow up with them or they weren't in this show from day one, we did have characters like Eddie, which sent a ripple effect across the entire Stranger Things universe and just left people in tears because his death was so emotional and so powerful. And it just really kind of, uh, it really shook a lot of people. But the characters that I wanted to kind of discuss today, because we have seen characters that were very different from the beginning, and so you could never see them being friends or associating with one another or whatever the case may be. And one of the biggest ones, I think, was the case of Steve and Dustin, two very different people on opposite ends of the spectrum. You have Steve, who is very popular in high school. He's a kind of a lady killer. He's known as Steve the Hare Harrington, where you have Dustin, who is in his little Dungeons and Dragons group with his little buddies and is really unknown, and no one really cares for him. He's he's really just known by his uh, teeth situation that he's got going on, but we find out that there's so much more to him. And here is where the suggestion from one of my watchers has come into play, where what if, and this is a big what if, because I still am not 100% on board with it, it does make sense though, and I could possibly see it happen, is what if Dustin sacrifices his life for Steve? Because we all saw how Eddie's death really affected Dustin. And I think we're going to get more of that in this next season with the sneak peeks and with the leaked photos of him being at Eddie's grave. And this possibly being two or three years after Eddie's passed. And we're really going to dive into how it really affected Dustin and how his grieving process has been and what he's done to try to move on from it. Because with him going to visit Eddie's grave, if it's been a couple of years and it's still affecting him, well, then that just goes to show that he's not really gotten over it and he might still go to Eddie's grave to get advice or just feel like Eddie's there in some way that he can still talk to him, he can still connect with him. So kind of where this all comes into play, I can see Dustin maybe sacrificing his life for Steve or maybe some other member of the group because he had such a respect for Eddie after what he did. I could see him possibly repeating the same pattern where he wants to not necessarily do it for the glory of being remembered, but to show that how much he cares for his friends and what he's willing to do if it comes down to it. It's something that I really think we can dissect and kind of get into. But with Dustin and Steve's friendship in particular, like I said, we have two guys that are very different, and yet we saw them form a friendship and bond, especially there in Season 2 going into Season 3, where in the beginning, Dustin just he had no confidence and he didn't know how to talk to girls and Steve really kind of helped him establish a way to talk to girls and give him advice on you know if you don't care they'll pay attention and help him with his hair there at the end of season two where he shows up to the dance and and Steve's kind of helped him with that aspect of his personality or whatever trying to change things about him or just trying to have more confidence in himself so I can see where Dustin may have all the respect in the world for Steve, and if it comes down to it, where he has to choose between himself and Steve, I think we could see him choose Steve if it means saving his life and possibly the life of his friends, because he is, even though he's a very awkward character and he you know, is a very foul-mouthed character, which is part of his comedic charm, that he is a very heartfelt character and he's ready to do what he needs to for his friends. And So it's just a little theory that I am kind of mulling over in my head, if you have any ideas yourself, please leave comments below, leave your likes, subscribe to the channel, help me make that push to a thousand subscribers this year. I would really appreciate it. And a shout out for this suggestion to one of my watchers, Kaiman Bell, and I apologize if I have butchered the shit out of that. If you or any other of my viewers have suggestions, please throw them my way. I want to really engage with you guys and bring us fans together and just talk about these things. But so until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.